fix the incorrect dog tag displaying on BTR transfers. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't give a fuck about that. Today, I'm gonna explain everything that's coming with the wipe in a need to know order. From the most interesting to the least interesting and cutting out all the bullshit so we don't hear about any more dog tag BTR issues. I don't have those issues. Let me shut the fuck up, quit wasting your time and get right into it. With this wipe, we are gonna be getting map to map travel. So there are going to be designated spots similar to vehicle extractions right now that actually enable you to move to another map through a dialogue option. Now, if you've never utilized the BTR on woods or on streets before, you need to speak to the guy inside to transfer items to your stash or to go ahead and have him take you to various spots around the map. We think this is exactly how this is going to work. The only thing you need to know is this was classified as an event. So an event is going to come out where we can go ahead and move from map to map. And after that event is over, map to map travel will be here. As far as we know, it seems like if you transfer to a new map from your current raid, you're going to be deployed into a brand new raid, but we'll have to wait until we know more information. After that, we have a new boss coming out. His name is Partisan, and he's meant to go ahead and hunt players with low karma, not just PMCs, but also scavs. He's said to primarily be on forested areas, and he has a relationship to Jaeger. Now, he's going to stalk players similar to how cultists actually stalk players, and he's going to try and go ahead and put tripwire booby traps in front of people. The karma system was a little bit vague, but it says from what we know previously is it's effectively going to punish ratty play styles. So expect him to come after you if you've been camping extractions. Stank rat, I'm looking at you. You better watch your back, dude. You better look at the floor while you're walking around from now on. The karma system, now tripwires. Tripwires are going to be purchasable from Jaeger after completing all of his quest line according to the patch notes. You can go ahead and put tripwires on any flat surface with any grenade and it will utilize the fuse timer that that grenade has so impact grenades won't work because they have a set travel distance however things like vog 25s will go off damn near instantly so watch out for that you can set these off by shooting them by throwing a grenade on them or if any item or person crosses their path up next is the factory overhaul so this looks largely like a massive fidelity and visual effects upgrade they've actually gone ahead and resized things so it should just play a little better factory is by far the oldest map in escape from tarkov and hopefully we'll see this treatment given to a lot of other maps the lighting the texture everything about this looks good they also said they upgraded the loot so maybe now you can actually make some money on factory the only other thing you need to know about this factory update is there's actually going to be spots outside of the map you can get to now so watch out for that we also have a host of new weapons coming into the game we'll start with the uzi which is chambered in 9 by 19 so we have the uzi submachine gun we have the sr3m which is chambered in 9 by 39 this is like the big brother of the sr2m and then we have the desert eagle and we get two of these one chambered in 50 and the other chambered in 357 and that's 50 ae i should mention i'm not sure if there's any other 50 but uh i thought i'd clarify maybe let me know in the comments down below if you know a lot about weapons and calibers on those new weapons we're gonna have a bunch of new modifications they didn't really clarify what we can expect to see but just look out for some new weapon mods of those we have bipods so you're actually gonna be able to deploy these on a window for example right in front of you or if you're laying down and it's gonna go ahead and steady your arm stamina as well as your aim so this should be very effective at making the lmgs more effective and also also some other high recoil builds so I'm really excited to utilize these you could probably even put them on the snipe rifles for example I know the SV98 already has a bipod on it that would be really nice while just chilling around trying to snipe speaking of sniping all the variable optics in the game are actually going to be true variable optics meaning that you'll be able to zoom them from 1 to 4x for example or 1 to 8x this is tied to a new keybind and that keybind will be alt scroll up and scroll down so if you utilize those you're going to need to find something to move them to for the bipods you're going to actually need to utilize control and v and to mount the weapon you're going to need to utilize v for the trip wires you're going to need to utilize the b key i love all these changes but oh my god that is a lot of key binds to add if you haven't seen my settings video already these should fit in quite nicely with the key binds that i recommend in that video and that's the most popular settings video for a reason and with all these changes, I wouldn't be surprised if your settings got reset anyway. So that'll be linked in the top right. 
after that we have mannequins coming to the game so you can effectively load these up with kits click a button and move that kit to yourself or take your current kit off and throw it on that mannequin hopefully they have a cool system outside of like the pre-made kit system that actually allows you to just quickly gear up gear off and these save you guys a lot a lot of time also new in the hideout we have the cult circle so this is going to work a lot like a lucky scav junk box if you do have the unheard edition you're going to get this for free out the gate i know i know i'm sure you guys are going to be pissed about this i'm really surprised they decided to do that but whatever the big takeaway is you can sacrifice items it'll utilize the value of those items i'm not sure if it's going to use the flea market price the trader price maybe just the highest price out of the two or maybe it's going to use the high alk value from old school runescape i don't know yet but you're going to go ahead and sacrifice these items and if you're over a certain threshold then there's a 25 percent chance Whatever found and raid quest item you need to progress your quest, they will bring back to you. So this will be really nice for quests like stims, etc. Maybe you guys can think of different ways to abuse this. For example, if you have the quest where you need to get a found and raid lead X for your thick item container, well, this could be a very easy way to go ahead and get an easy 1 million rubles from these cultists. But I would love to see what you guys get from this cult circle. Please, please join my Discord and show me what you guys get. I would love to talk to you guys. My DMs are always open. Up next, they've actually buffed 762 by 39. It wasn't very viable in the last wipe, as well as 545 in 9 by 21. I'm really happy to see all this. They've also nerfed 556. Now, I wouldn't worry too much about this 556 nerf. I know if you guys played the tail end of the last wipe, it was effectively like a nerf dart. But listen to this next change so they've gone ahead and removed all level six plate barters this is great this is really what made the meta get so stale and make it so the sig spear and the 308 weapons were the only viable weapons we assume that level five plates are still gonna be purchasable at high trader levels but those level six plates and people tanking endless shots are a thing of the past that being said Kiba still spawns a lot of level six plates, so that's probably going to be a very, very hot spot. If you guys have a spot where you like to find level six plates, let us know in the comments down below. Up next, they've gotten rid of a lot of flea market restrictions. So they've gone ahead and made it so any ammunition with 42 penetration or below is going to be sellable and buyable on the flea market. This combined with all the other flea market restrictions that have been lifted are going to effectively make it that if you get to level 15, you can play like the 90 percentile with almost all the best equipment without committing all the time to questing, etc. Lastly, there was a massive sound overhaul. I can't even put into words all the things they adjusted. It looked like a lot. I don't want to speak too much of it. We'll see how it plays, how it actually sounds. And they said there was a big anti-cheat update. Other than that, they moved the season to summer. The only thing I didn't see that I expected to see was information on mortars. So watch out. Those might exist. We did see them in the trailer as well as moving to a new game engine. Hopefully I covered everything you guys needed to see fast and easy. If I left you guys with any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. And if you guys haven't seen how to get ahead and dominate all of your opponents on day one of the wipe, watch this video on scare now. I have over 10,000 hours in the game. I have one of the highest KDs in the world and I'm also a D tier YouTuber. Watch the video.